In past Halloween shows, we featured the chicken skin tour ghost stories of Lopaka Papa Nui. He told us about his friend, Daryl Bonilla, who you may recognize from the old Bank of Hawaii commercials. But he's done a lot more since then and shares an interesting connection to Lopaka as a pro wrestler. Hi everybody, my name is Daryl Bonilla. I am the site manager here at Hawaii Self Storage here at Pearl City. But those of you uh, out there might know me for some other stuff here in Hawaii. You know, some of you may recognize me from the Bank of Hawaii commercials where I infamously said, uh, that's my bank. Some of you see me from a movie way back when called Beyond Paradise. Or some of you may see me uh, doing stand-up comedy here in Hawaii. But another thing people might not know about me is that I am the owner operator of Hawaii's only local professional wrestling company here in Hawaii called Action Zone Wrestling AZ. I went to Waianae High School, got into acting, kind of interesting. It started off with me choosing my electives from 6th to 7th grade, and I saw that there was a drama, and I was thinking, easy A. First roles out of high school were theater. I started off with Leeward Community College with the Hawaiian style theater under uh, Dr. Paul Cravath. And while I was rehearsing, um, actually, for Kumukuha Theater Show, I got to meet uh, one of the casting agents here in Hawaii, uh, Anna Fishburne, who then uh, signed me up. Uh, and then about two weeks later, I got a call for an audition for this feature film here in Hawaii uh, called Beyond Paradise. I remember me and the other actor who, who got casted as the bank guys. And we were joking, and I remember I was joking with him before we did that one commercial. And I joked about, would it be funny if if I came up with a catchphrase that somehow caught on, like, just do it, or got milk. And if you watch the initial commercial, that catchphrase was never a part of it, but it was in the B-roll, because they had me just ad-libbing a lot of stuff on, on while we drove around Waikiki. And one of the ad-libs was, that's my bank. And then about a year and a half later, we got the call that they were thinking about turning it into a campaign. And I had to say it exactly like how I said it, you know, with that crack in my voice and that, like they like to call it the sing-songy way I said it. I always liked wrestling, always watched it growing up as a kid. Never really thought of getting into it, um, but then once I got back from doing Beyond Paradise, that feature film I did, I kind of caught some local wrestling on TV. So I caught and I inquired about the training, but they were looking for an announcer. So I went in and, uh, went in and tried out as an announcer. They liked it and they brought me back every week uh, to do the TV tapings. Then I also did the live events. So that's kind of how I got involved with, with uh, wrestling. And then my transition into the in-ring portion of it uh, is courtesy of uh, Lopaka Kapanui, who I, I knew, I've known for a long time through theater. And so he was the one that kept pushing me. He was like, hey man, you should get in the ring. And then he started training me for the in-ring competition. And then it became a little bit more full-time thing where I actually got in the ring and competed. A lot of people don't know this about Lopaka because he's well known for his ghost tours and his storytelling here in Hawaii that he himself was a wrestler here in Hawaii, and a serious wrestler, and he wrestled for a long time. In fact, when I first met him in theater, he never told me or our mutual friends that he was a wrestler, you know, because he wrestled with a mask, so he never told us. I was in theater with uh, Daryl Bonilla, and uh, one day uh, we, had a, we had a show, and I walked out in my costume and my mask, and as I was walking to the ring, I saw Daryl standing here with a microphone in his hand, and I just realized, oh, that's the new guy the, the promoter hired. And so he looked at me, I looked at him like, hey, Daryl, he's like, Hey, <laughs> and so he didn't realize until a month later that that was actually me under the mask. I was part of a tag team called Black Rain, you know, and it was based on uh, the symbolism of, of, of nuclear fallout. The other partner was, you know, was the, the muscle head, the guy who had all the strength and, you know, the steroids and the biceps. And I was the, uh, the sociopath, you know, the, the articulate guy who spoke very well and very calm and didn't yell and scream like my partner. But my style was uh, calculating, exacting, a lot of technical moves, a lot of submission holds. Um, incorporated a lot of uh, Muay Thai kickboxing and you know, some, some of the Hawaiian martial art in it. Training for us was, was brutal. Uh, we were trained in, in the Japanese hard style, the strong style. We were also trained in Muay Thai and uh, Russian sambo wrestling, running down the beach with telephone poles on our, our shoulders, literally. You know, uh, trained by an ex-Navy SEAL in, in the conditioning part. And, Eventually, when uh, Daryl started his promotion, he also asked me to start training some of his guys. So I pretty much gave them the same training I had, but uh, ten times worse. He's one of the more well-respected wrestlers here in Hawaii. A lot of people, he's trained a lot of people here in Hawaii that still are wrestling to this day. So he had a real strong hand in, in the Hawaii wrestling scene for, for quite a while here in Hawaii. I've always had that challenge to him and, and stuff. And we almost, we got close to, to making that match official. 
but um, unfortunately he couldn't make the event. Um, so, but there was a there was a close chance that we almost got in the ring. But there's still a chance, Lopaka. So, Lopaka, if you're out there, there's still a chance. Lopaka versus DDB. I smell money. You know, if uh, Daryl sets the right time and place, and if the price is right, and the opportunity is right, I'll come back. I'll take Daryl on. We run monthly. Our primary home is the Philcom Center in Waipahu, so we've been with them since we started in 2005. They've been a great home for us. We have about 20 to 25 guys on our roster, both active wrestlers as well as people who are training, as well as our crew. The style of Action Zone Wrestling is the Hawaiian Strong style. So, of course, we take the theatrics of what we see on WWE uh, wrestling, but we influence it with the Japanese style, that, that, that hard-hitting, in-your-face, even with some MMA influence as well. So we have a very hard-hitting, strong style that we present and, and our fans love it. I primarily handle all the behind the scenes stuff, promoting the events, booking the matches, and as far as the actual shows, so I'm color commentator of the live events. One of the things I really like about Hawaii Self Storage is that it's very community oriented. So they give back to the community, they're locally owned. So that attracted me immediately to this company. Uh, being a manager here at Hawaii Self Storage, I think my background in, in acting and, and even doing stand-up comedy and even the wrestling, just managing so much personalities, uh, it gives me the, the base to work with customers because customers come from all places, all backgrounds, all temperaments. So you just try to make sure that their experience is, is, is less stressful. You try to take away some of those stress and that's what I think we do here at Hawaii Self Storage. We give them a safe, secure facility. Uh, we have a truck to help move in so they don't have to worry about, oh, I gotta rent a truck. Oh, you know, that's extra money out of my pocket. So we give them the best value for the best service and I think that's something that we can hang our hat on here at Hawaii Self Storage is that we got great deals and, and when you see the facility and how, how nice it is, how, how well kept it is, and how safe it is, um, you, you feel safe knowing that, hey, I can put my stuff there and I can come back one, two years later and it's exactly how I left it.